The new series up here encourages us to listen to our hearts and not the voices in our heads. Boy, that's hard, right? It follows writer Lindsay, played by Mae Whitman, and a banker, Miguel, played by Carlos Valdez, who try to do just that, but they may not be on the same page. Take a look. Nice. Are there any other lies I should know about? Or All right, look, I don't know what you thought last night was, but I'm not really in a place for a relationship. A relationship? You, you think I want a relationship? Well, I mean, you brought cupcakes. <laughs> yeah, because I was concerned. You ran out of the office last night with your pants off sobbing. Okay, Wait, what did you just say? Uh, sorry, I really am going to leave now. <laughs> All right, let's definitely talk somewhere else. And Meg and Carlos are with us now. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hi. So this is, such, I was telling you before this started, but I want to say it on the camera, too. It's such a cute show. I mean, it makes, I, I love it. I enjoy every bit of it. Um, this is all, it's all about listening to your heart. Yes. Right? So what do you hope viewers experience while they're watching this show? I mean, I think for me, you know, the most important message is sort of being brave enough to be vulnerable and yeah. kind of like the beautiful things and the way your life can change if you're just brave enough to take that one step outside of your comfort zone. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, it, if you're true to yourself, even if you don't know what's on the other side, something amazing will happen to you if you sort of just trust in the universe, you know? Yes, it's about trusting your heart, yes. your soul, the universe. Totally. And, yeah, and not giving in to your, your second insecurities. Your insecurities. We all have them. Totally. We, yeah, we all have them. And, and Carlos, this, you know, you, got, you guys have a, an amazing songwriting team yeah, behind this definitely. show. So what is it like to bring these original songs uh, to life in this way? You know, I think part of the genius of Bobby and Kristen, who wrote the music and lyrics on the show, is that they know how to, like, humble themselves um, in front of the experience I mean, and the creative from process. WandaVision, uh, yeah. EGOTS, and yes. all kinds Coco, of Frozen. Frozen. Yeah, you yeah. Name it. Um, and that that energy is really necessary when you're doing something as vulnerable as singing your feelings out yes. loud, you know. And like it really it really takes that safe space. I mean, I you know I hired a, a vocal coach, me Tyler too. Jones. He was incredible. <laughs> he really got me into shape for the show, and I felt really comfortable in that booth with them. And um, that was probably the most rewarding part of the process. Yeah, first. and I like both of your characters kind of have different musical styles, oh, right? So yeah. if if uh, both of your lives were a musical, what would you yours sound like? Honestly, mine would probably be really depressing. I listen to a lot of really depressing. <laughs> yeah. If I'm like, Singer, if there's not song, something sad acoustic. about it, it would probably be like a 90s dissonant guitar tone the entire time and everybody would leave being like, God, that was a bummer, am I right? Yeah, but, my, you know. mine would be pretty similar. Just like really? a scary, minimalist drone. <laughs> Okay. I don't believe okay. it. I don't, don't believe it. Don't worry about it. us. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, but May, you just uh, you said that you had the sweetest reunion with with Jennifer Aniston, yes. and that she like changed your life. Yes. I, which I don't know that everyone knows. That I was on Friends. That you were on, like, remember that you were on Friends, but, you know, what was, what do you remember most about being on the set of Friends? You know, I think, honestly, for me, having that experience of reuniting with her, by the way, was so cool, because it was totally unplanned. I didn't even know she was going to be on the show, but I know that, you know, having done this for 32 years or whatever now, I feel like the experiences that shaped me, that really taught me how to be a professional on set, yeah. and to be kind, and to be appreciative, and make everybody feel like they're a part of the show, you know, those are things that, a little moment for her is something that I carried with me the rest of my life yeah. and I took with me into my whole career so I just figured it would be really nice to be able to express that to her because it's something that you know is it's it's a rare thing to be able to look back 20 uh, years later and <laughs> yeah, appreciate that gratitude you know <laughs> I do that too yeah <laughs> <laughs> time doesn't matter it's uh, yeah no, but Carlos you were in the flash too you did uh you did a Supergirl crossover, which Jeremy Jordan was in which That's he's right. in which he's here today he's in the house he's in the house he's right can we guys? Can we get you guys back together on something? What yeah. Do you, think? you know what I really like. Want to collaborate with Jeremy on? I don't know if anybody knows this, but this man is an escape room. <gasps> and That's he, what we did. That's let's what we go. Did. We lived in Vancouver, and you know, there's not much else to do, but we. We took him down. He escaped, this took him down. He killed it. He like we all went in there like trying to have a good time, and he was like, "All right, now the first ev piece of evidence right here." Put it all together. And he had the calculations. He's an like, amateur sleuth. Yeah, totally. So I definitely want to do an. Escape. We gotta do like a escape room like musical situation. Hey, yes. Next time yeah. you guys are both here, we're gonna do an escape room <gasps> musical. And we're gonna make a whole half hour I'm here for just it. that. But I'm for sorry. now, we're, gonna, we're all going to watch up here. It's streaming on Hulu now. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thanks Thank so much so for having much. us. Yeah, it was a pleasure.